You know, I feel like a lot of people have underestimated me until I start playing. <laughs> but um, since I was young, like I really love the guitar. I love everything about the guitar, and and this is my way of expression. And this is this is something I do. It's part of who I am. I think I go a hundred times harder because I've been underestimated. I feel like I, I pull it out even more now because I'm like, this is part of me. This is what I do unapologetically, and I think it's pretty badass. Is it really even my fault? I don't think that it's supposed to be hard If it's really meant to be, yeah So give me a sign Is he always gonna be mine? Have I given it enough of my time? Who can I blame if it don't mean nothing? Sweet, sweet babe I had about all I can take in my And yours, I wonder, sweet, sweet babe. Oh, if it's really out of my hands, can you forgive all of my sins? Have mercy on me.
it's interesting, right? There's this um, debate on like nature versus nurture. And you know, was this destined for me or did I make this happen? Was, was I able to, you know, create my destiny and create my fate? And it's that question that we all ask. And, you know, is it yours? I wonder, sweet fate. You know, I've had about all I can take. Like sometimes, you know, when things are hard and when things don't seem like they're going the right direction, you, you have to just trust everything is going the way it's supposed to for you. What's for you is for you. And it's just that question I think we all ask, what's for me? My first time on a stage, um, you know what? I remember exactly my first time on a stage. I was six years old and I was with my, with my dad and his band. And I remember it was like on local TV, like only in Vallejo, like it was on some local terribly shot, you know, bad quality TV. And I was like, I'm on TV. Like I was so hyped. That was my very first performance. I was six years old. When I graduated high school or my senior year, I was filling out college applications because I didn't know if I was gonna be in music 100% or if I was gonna be you know, a teacher or in the medical field. And there was a little bit of pressure there, but I decided you know, if I'm gonna do this, it has to be all or nothing. It has to be 100% music. I don't think I had early success, I think. Um... I think everything was in perfect timing. Um, you know, I've been signed to RCA since I was 14 years old, but I didn't release my project for five years, you know, almost six years. And, you know, my project being successful came from touring for two years and kind of the buzz going around. So it wasn't an overnight thing. It wasn't a quick thing. There was so much work that was put in that people didn't see. You know, my dad used to say something to me. He said, if you don't love it without the money and the success, you're not gonna love it with it. And I always keep that, you know, near and dear to my heart because it's so true. Um, because at the end of the day, I have no choice but to create. I have no choice but to pick up a guitar and sing. So you might as well go all the way with it. When you're mixing, you gotta use this one. But when you want to feel it, you gotta do this. My thing about R&B is this, right? We have 90s R&B, which for this generation and the generation before me is, you know, the soundtrack to major, you know, moments, romance, heartbreak and, and things like that and, and pain and and just life. Um, and, and it's been the soundtrack to a lot of people's lives when they're dealing with things they're dealing with or maybe when they can't articulate what they want to say. I think that's what music does. And I've been blessed to be able to create music that people could relate to or have been affected by or, you know, have, have helped them heal or teach or, you know, whatever it is, fall in love, dance, you know, dwell. All of these things I think music is, has done, but it's God given. Sometimes it don't go your way. Sometimes you gotta, sometimes. Sometimes it don't go your way Sometimes, sometimes You gotta know Yeah I had a plan, I had it mapped out Oh, I knew where I was going when I left out You couldn't tell me that I wouldn't be there on time Cause I had some guarantees I had a deadline But now I know things change for better or worse You could say that I'm the same But I ain't just a two all the hurt So many no's, so many yeses No one to blame, don't 
got the answers I felt the pain, I can't attest it That's just the game and I respect it, yeah With this pandemic and everything that's been going on in 2020, we have not been able to have control of anything. We've prepared, you know, I, I had shows and things lined up for the year, but everything came to an end or stop and I couldn't do anything about it. And, and that's exactly what I'm saying in the song is sometimes it doesn't go your way and you have to be okay with that. Sometimes you have to just, you know, you can't plan for everything. Sometimes you just have to accept what is and what you can't control and move forward and make the most of it. I've been playing with my band since I was like, I mean, we've known each other since I was 13 years old. You know, um, my MD I've known since I was like 11 years old. So, you know, they're like my, my brothers and we really jam out. And when it comes to creating, it's one of the most fun things for me. You know, when I'm in the studio, I miss being in rehearsal for a show. And when I'm rehearsing for a show, I miss being in the studio. Even just the arrangement to Glory, it, we came up with it and I was, we had something and it was it was really dope, but it felt like it needed more. It needed to be more dynamic. It needed to be bigger. There's something about the dynamics of creating a show moment, like a big moment where, you know, okay, we wanna layer this kick and you know, I need the feel to be do 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 ka 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 ka. You know, like a crescendo. I need the drums to have a crescendo. I came up with that this line down you know, and it just took it to a whole other place. Glory, everybody fighting for it. Everybody wants the power. When we get it, where do we go? Always need a little more glory. Everybody fighting for it. Everybody wants the power. When we get it, where do we go? Always need a little more. Amazing, everybody 
following the famous we do anything to replace them take it all so i'm chasing working every angle for the spotlight i just want to know Everybody fighting for it Everybody wants the power When we get it, where do we go? Always need a little more So selfish Pushing over every other player It ain't nothing personal We just came to win Can I get a taste of Living on the edge of a tower Looking down at all the people looking up to me Yeah, yeah, glory Everybody fighting for it Everybody wants the power When we get it, where do we go? Always need a little more glory Everybody fighting for it Glory actually was written in 2015, a while ago, and it's crazy how it relates to what's going on right now. And we have a lot of people in this world that are just looking for power and control, and they're just full of greed and hatred and, and are very, I think, selfish. And that's what this song is really about. It's like we're so busy trying to chase something and own something and, and take and take. And it's like, I think it, it's time to be united. And I think we are being united right now. So it's crazy how this song applies to what's going on in the world. So I have to share with you one of my favorite moments in my entire life. Central Park for Global Citizen, I performed with somebody who I've looked up to my entire life, Alicia Keys. And she said, I wanna do this Aerosmith song. And I'm like, okay, great. It was like a day before that we decided to do this song. So I was very nervous and you know, it's like 60,000 people out there, something crazy like that. I kind of had played you know, a scale or two. I, I played a few things like, oh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. As Soon as I got on stage, all that went out the window. All of it, it was gone. And it was just the guitar and my fingers and whatever was happening in here. That's when I realized, okay, this guitar is, is a part of me, but it's, there's a side of me that I have just unlocked. When the sins of my father Way down in my soul In the pain of my mother 
performed at the Grammys in 2019 and we created an acrylic strat for my performance and I'd noticed people would say oh my gosh I want to touch it you know what is it made of what does it feel like and so I thought that was very interesting because you've never seen a guitar like that and um, when I was creating my own line I wanted something else that made you kind of want to touch it and look closer and feel it which almost makes you want to learn how to play it and um, I do this thing on my nails you know all the time it's like an iridescent chrome I have it now and I really wanted to copy that paint I love how subtle but crazy and cool it is it, it's like totally me my style my personal style I like to call it tomboy chic <laughs> you know um, I'm all about comfort and subtle flexes and standing out but being low-key at the same time and, and mysterious but I'm here present even with my guitar you know I think it's it's a silent killer you know when I sing it's one version of me but when I come out from behind that mic with the guitar in my hands it's a whole other thing and you're like wasn't expecting that so I think with this guitar people aren't expecting this kind of vibe this kind of color this shine, this iridescence, that in a certain light, you see a rainbow. Well, this is a dream come true, first of all, but this guitar is, is so important to me, not just because, you know, I've always wanted to create my own guitar line, but it's the beginning of, I think, inspiring a generation of women to play guitar. <laughs> 